Okay, so hello again everyone to another series of action camera mods. Today, I shall be doing a little mod which is to use an ND filter on the camera. First, why do you need an ND filter? It's because in bright sunlight, an action camera is gonna be like bleached out. Let me go show you. Turn it on. I might pop this thing on screen. So, if you record the table, it's gonna be a little normal. But if you put a little lamp on front of the lens, it's all white. So, and you saw that line thingy on the CMOS sensor. So, essentially, what you have to do now is you have to stop the recording, put this filter on here. Now I just made this filter on my own. Just use some old glasses. Then just put some of this black tape on it. Then put some paper inside to avoid sticking on the lens. Now I just made this thing with some glass that are concave in inwards. So that so I zoom. Yeah. See? So that those flares from the sun can actually look more beautiful instead of like bothering. So now let's try recording again. Recording. Flashlights on normally. And look at that. No more lines. What just happened there? Let's go to the off. What has just happened is that the light has just been lessened or reduced by the ND filter let's put this thing on the camera and see there you go everything is a bit darker and actually also makes the colors a bit better look at that look at that look at that little spot and look at the floor I don't want like the table around it it looks even better with this ND filter so essentially an ND filter is a must if you're going in really bright situations like in front of a torch for example or when you have like thick fog and a really bright sun even expensive cameras need that as long as you have no uh, aperture control this thing I do not know what aperture it is on and if you have like a phantom 3 like I do it's gonna be on f2.8 in f2.8 you can actually see quite nice in the night, but because of that, you have to have a trade off. Which means that in really bright sunlight, you're gonna have like video jitter. And video jitter is essentially, uh, wait a minute, yeah, video jitter is essentially so the video that you take is quite not perfect. Because of the shutter speed that's too fast. Normally you would want a shutter speed to be twice <coughs> the frame rate you're taking it. For example, you're shooting 1080p at 30 fps. Then you want the frame rate to be essentially 60 on the camera. But in real bright days, you might set your shutter speed at like 100 or 120. So, for that, you need an ND filter. There's a lot of filters you can buy. This I do not know exactly how many stops of ND you can actually get with this. But, there's like ND2, ND8. And the 16 and the 32. And I also do have a polarizer, but it's quite big, so let me go get it for a while. Steve, the Here you go. Take out the bag, I store it. There you go. Of 
Call and the filter with a little adapter which I've just made on my own. I mean, I mean polarizer for like these kind of cameras, so you can actually put a rubber band around them. So polarizer, what they do is that they actually make your video better and more vibrant. Let's see if you can actually see it. Okay, let's just put this thing on the camera lens. So. I'm gonna put this on this camera, this camera, so, see the difference, wait, and, I mean, polarizer on, polarizer off, the image is way better, so, I think that sums up my tutorial today, thank you for watching, peace up, goodbye.